first we create a new data adapter this makes our ip complete now we can go to our workbench Hey everyone, in this quick video, we'll see how to expose a REST API out of your integration procedure in Salesforce and call it through Workbench. For this, first we'll create a data adapter to fetch contacts by account ID. Then we'll build an integration procedure to invoke this data adapter. And then we'll see how to expose this integration procedure as a REST API and call it through Workbench. So let's get started. First, we'll create a new data adapter. Let's call it extract contacts by account. The extra type should be selected now let's add an extraction object the extraction object would be contact output path would be contacts and the field has to be account id equals to acc id that we will pass from the api url we'll create some mappings for this all right now that we have a few fields mapped let's see what comes in the preview if i add a parameter of account id and give it a account id value yeah. all right now that we have all the fields mapped let's see the preview of this data adapter for this i'll give the variable account id and i'll give it the id of a default account in salesforce and let's see yes we are getting a response of some contacts related to this account so now let's create an integration procedure we name this as ip rest api type ip subtype rest all right now let's add a data adapter here we'll give it the name of the data mapper and we We'll add the input parameter as account id all right now we we'll also need to add a response action that will catch all the response from the data adapter and give it out from the integration procedure all right this makes our ip complete and if i save it and preview it now if i give it some input parameters it should give me a response with all the contacts fetched from the data adapter all right so now the good part once our integration procedure is ready let's just activate this now we can go to our workbench and you'll have to log into the workbench first with your salesforce credentials and now in workbench we can go to rest explorer here we will need a default api url of an integration procedure for that you can go back to your integration procedure page but on the top right you can click help you can find the url from here that acts as a rest api url and we can paste it over here and keep notice that you have to fill in these blank spaces the namespace would be omni studio in my case and the integration procedure type and subtype has to be filled here so in my case i gave the type as i p and subtype as rest so now it also requires a additional input of account id that is given by this syntax question mark account id equals to whatever id of the account you want to provide it with and if i execute this you can see at the bottom i have a response to see this clearly we can take it to a json formatter and here you can see the fields that i asked for from the data adapter all here in the api response so that's a quick way to create a data adapter integration procedure and expose it as a rest api we can test this in workbench and use this api anywhere in our salesforce org this allows easy external integration and flexible data fetch in salesforce so that's all thanks for watching and happy building